All right, good morning, Crooked River. Good morning, everyone. Um, hey, look at us. I know. Ready to go. But it's a day early. It's Thursday, because guess what? No school, school on tomorrow. Friday. For so, kids, teachers have school. Yes, teachers will be in classes just like the students learning all day long. We so, even have uh, to go to class. I know, you and I. We're in class tomorrow too. Yeah. You know who the teacher is for our class? Yeah. Mr. Waite. Mr. Waite's our and teacher. And we've seen tomorrow. those videos, so we're wondering how the class uh -huh. is going to go. So You'll have to ask us on Monday how our yes, class yes. went. For sure. Do you have a joke? I do. I do. I it's like actually it written set up. up here today. What do you get when you drop a pumpkin? You drop, like, drop a pumpkin? If you had a pumpkin and you dropped it. A squash. Is Why a squash? Oh, because it's a pumpkin, pumpkin, squash, drop squash. Oh, oh yeah. Is that there here? we go. The it's grand a reveal? Squash. Yes. Did you write that? Uh, no, Mrs. Lindsay actually put oh, that up there. Say, that's very nice. Yeah. By the way, do you know where dads keep all their dad jokes? Where? In a database. 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 Okay, that's enough. Snuck Never, to no, it. No, no, Snuck to it this week. No. All right. No, hey. I, since we're talking about this, can we talk about my drawing for a second? So when this I was a teacher. Kids on unicycles. I like it. Listen. Oh. When I was a teacher, I had a rule. You cannot make fun of my drawings. Okay. Because I am not a good drawer. All right. But I think I'm going to get the point across. Okay. And Mr. Schinkel actually knew what my drawings were about. So this is the cafeteria. Okay. So look, this is me with my apron on, my hair in a bun. This is my friend Velma, who's the sweetest person ever. Right? Is she not the sweetest person ever? So this is where Velma and I are serving your trays. These are trays. This is where you stand in line. Here's what we're having problems with. Guys, you need to stand on your dots. And here's the door over here, right? You don't even come in the door until that dot is empty. Then when this person moves up here, then everybody goes up a dot. And then this person comes into that dot. So you wait until there's an empty dot, okay? Then when this person comes and gets their tray, this person, the next person moved up, right? You need to stay on that dot until this person is completely out of the trays. Then it is a really nice system. Otherwise, what happens is we get a bunch of kids up here and then they run into each other and then the food falls on the ground and we have a problem, okay? So please, stand on your dots, Wait until these guys are completely gone. This one person is completely gone before the next one person comes up. And Mr. Lindsay, tell me when you think you know what I'm writing. Could it be thank you? <laughs> you waited until I was done. Uh, I thought you were going to guess a lot. Nah, you know. Every single student should say thank you. It is so kind to that hear you. That would be so say. polite. And respectful. And speaking of respect. Respect. What about uh, it? How much fun did we have at the assembly last it week? It was fun. All right. And the what kids made it fun? Really good. Yes. What made it fun were the kids were awesome. They yeah. were very respectful, sat mm -hmm. quietly, listened, cheered for everybody that won. Mm -hmm. And just a reminder, we'll be looking for more students for our next assembly. Uh, the theme, the virtue of the month is respect. And respect. remember that's so we're we looking for three list. things respecting property, respecting others, and of course, respecting yourself. So teachers will be looking for that all over the school. What does respecting others look like? Mm, that might be giving them some space. It might oh. be when they have their desk and stuff, if you knock something off, you might help pick it up. Nice. So uh, it might be when, when you're talking with adults that you look at them respectfully, like you're listening. Mm -hmm. um, if they give you some directions, you follow those. Thank you. Very nice. Anytime, not yeah. just in the cafeteria, would work yeah. for being respectful. You know, I ask that because we're having problems with a lot of kids having hands on, and your body should never touch anyone else. It just shouldn't ever at school. We've got some kids that are hitting and pushing and just no, things that are respectful. unkind. Not nope. respectful. No. Not at all. Okay. All right, what else is on your list? My Tim? list, also safety. We talked about this on one of the other announcements that we do different safety drills. We did a fire drill a month ago. Mm -hmm. This month we're gonna work on a lockdown drill. So what that mm -hmm. means is we will get on the intercom or another mm -hmm. adult will get on the intercom. 
say we're going to a lockdown, locks, lights, and out of sight. Mm -hmm. Your teacher's gonna talk more about that. But what that means is students will go into the classroom, find a spot, they're going to sit down where people cannot see them from inside the door, and they're going to be silent. silent. And they're just going to listen to their teacher yeah. and follow directions. And we can't tell you exactly what's gonna go on because each situation might be a little different. But when you hear locks, lights, <laughs> lights, how about locks. this, locks, lights out of sight go into the closest room the adult will tell you where to go and what to do so one and we're going to take that very seriously kids need to be silent yeah. during that yes ma'am and one thing that i want to make sure you guys know is that we kind of go around and check doors to make sure they're locked and so if you hear the door rattling just expect to hear that guys it's not scary it no. just means somebody's double checking it's a practice so we want to make sure we're all doing it right Yep. Yeah. And uh, next, it'll be next Wednesday. It is next Wednesday. Yeah. And yeah. we'll even have uh, our SRO, our officer here to mm -hmm. help us with that drill. Yep, so and just to really tell us any suggestions that we could do better. That's right. That's right, good. All yeah. right, speaking of next week, next Wednesday is our lockdown drill, Thursday and Friday. What's going on next Thursday and well, Friday? That's another thing where you guys don't have school next Thursday and Friday, but it's for a so important reason. We have conferences where your family gets to come and meet with your teacher and talk about all the amazing things that you're doing. So is it important that families come to conferences? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, our goal, do you know what our goal is? 100% of the kids and families come to conferences yes. because it is a team. We're working with families to make sure mm -hmm. that each one of you get the best possible education and are successful. So yes. everyone. Everyone, everyone, yes. Okay. What's over there on the table? Uh -oh. Are we ready for we those yet? Prizes today? We sure are. All right, let's start with memos, shall we? Dun dun dun. dun. You know, I know this is old, but not for me. Every I still think... week, really, oh, okay. Mr. Lindsay? Well, Every we'll kind of slow. I'll wait a few weeks before I do it again. Oh man, I'll just stand on a chair. It's not safe by now. One, two, three, four. I think wow. I have it. Okay, that's a lot of time there. All right, from Miss Dunn's class, Aubriana. Yay! Miss Dunn is Congratulations. Nice um, from Miss Dunn's class, Trinity. Miss Dunn, what's going on in there? Uh, from Miss Godat's class, Coley Sumner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from Miss Stringer's class, Jesse. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. And from Miss P's class, we have Jameson. Come Ooh, down and give your memo prizes. Now let's do the big one. All right. The big Mark, one. Ooh, there's, there's a lot of Mustang Moolah in here. Oh, Look at all those. Yeah. Good. You be the picker. All right. That's Don't gonna, look. Making me, I can't look. How am I supposed to do this? Put it above your own head. All right. All right. Here we got one. We've got okay. one. What's it going to be? It, it's purple. It is purple. I'm about to sleep. Could you read that? Because I was fused. <laughs> Excuse me. It looks <laughs> like Elizabeth Wollum. So nice. congratulations, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Wollum. Oh, from Mrs. Fisher. And she even drew a fish. You see that? That's so cute. All right, really important. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. It almost, is. Does this mean we're almost done? Not Friday. Okay. So it's we not don't Friday. have hats on. No hats? That's a good reminder, too, that hat day is only on Fridays, not yes. the last day of the week. And bring so, a quarter if you can. If you can. But if so you can. not Thursday, right. just Friday. All students stand. Face the flag. Right arm over our hearts. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. All right, we're halfway through October, which means we're halfway through our first nailing math winner. So right. do your math homework while you're not in school. Right. Read books. Have a great weekend. And do that too. Have a great weekend.